Hi, I'm Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dust with Perfect Pearls. To begin, I have a Perfect Medium pad, some Perfect Pearls, a background stamp, some Distress Heavyweight Black Matte Cardstock, and then I have some brushes over here that we're going to use. And to start, I'm going to ink up the stamp with the Perfect Medium Pad, and I'm going to be generous with the ink, and I'm going to go all over the stamp to make sure that I have enough ink to cover the black cardstock. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and place the cardstock where I want on the stamp. And then what I like to do is take a piece of scrap paper on a big background stamp like this and get a brayer and then just hold the cardstock down and brayer the whole background so that I make sure I get a nice clear impression on this big stamp. And I know I'm going over this um, overkill, but I want to make sure I get a good impression and all the ink is applied to the cardstock. And then I'll keep doing it until I think that I covered all the areas and then that should be good and we'll remove the paper and let me bring it up to show you now you can see the ink came out really good on here and let's get this stamp out of the way and we'll come in closer and we're going to start by putting some Perfect Pearls on the background, first dusting it. So I'll tap my jar on the table to put the pearls to the bottom of the jar and I'll take the smaller brush and I'm just going to lightly tap some pearls randomly onto the background. Now you could do this with two colors, three colors, whatever you choose, but you don't need to cover the entire background with the pearls just sprinkle it on randomly in these different spots and then once I have enough of that I'm dusting off the brush here and I'll go to the next color which is sunflower sparkle and I'll do the same thing I'll dip the brush in the jar and then randomly place it on the background just dusting it that's why we call this perfect pearls dusting and I'll just try to fill in those blank spaces and that so we'll get a nice variation of color in the end and put some down at the bottom over there try to fill in those spaces maybe just a little bit more and then We'll dust that off and we're going to go back into the pink gumball again and just add a little bit more of that pink color. And we're just repeating the process. And then just a little bit more over here. And now you take the larger brush and you just tap down the pearls to make them stick to the ink. So the great thing about this perfect medium ink is that it stays wet longer so it gives you the freedom to have some time to make your background. So, so I'm just still stamping all of the dust into the image and then once I have everything stamped down I'm going to swirl off the excess and I'm just cleaning off my brush in my hand a little bit because we want to get as much of the excess off as possible after we stamp it down and you can see how like the different colors stuck to the places where we put it instead of mixing but then at the same time it has a nice blend 
So let me bring this up closer and try to catch that shimmer in the light there. Yeah, I think you can see it. See how beautiful that is? So now we want to set these and to do that there's um, a built-in binder with the pearls and what to activate it you mist water over top. So I'm using a mister bottle filled with water and I'm spraying it and fanning it into the mist of water. And you don't want to get it totally wet, you just want to mist it so that it reaches all the different areas. And let me clean up this area here before we continue. We'll start to put this card together now that our background is complete. And I do see that I, you can't see it on the camera, but I do see that there's a little more water droplets than I meant to get. So I'm just gonna take a heated tool to dry the water droplets. This is not a step to actually set it. It just is taking off those extra water droplets. Okay, so now we'll put our card together. I ha I'll attach it with some adhesive tape runner. We'll put this on the middle of the card front here so that we have a nice white border around all the edges. And then just stick it down like so. And then I have this sentiment that I prepared and colored in and we're just going to attach that with some foam tape. And this is some clear foam tape and I'll put it right in the middle like that. And there you have it. You have this beautiful background that is the perfect landing place for your sentiments. Okay, so let me show you some more examples. Here we did this background stamp using a few colors. And next we have this one here. It was just one color and that can be very effective. And then for the next one, we have this here, one color and outlined with a gel pen to make it really stand out. That's really pretty. And then here's another where we colored the flowers with white and then made the leaves green. Here's another one with a variation of color again. That's really pretty. And then the next one here, we took different panels of the same stamp in different colors and that's a cool idea that you could try. So we hope you give this a try and for more videos on Perfect Pearls keep watching this series and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.